Story time, story time, it's my favorite time, spending time reading with you. Welcome to another story time with Gam Gam. Let's see what we have for today. Welcome back to story time with Gam Gam. And the story today is It's Fall. And this story was written by Linda Glassier. And the cut paper illustrations are by Susan Swan. It's fall. This is to my dear friend Robin, a fellow nature lover. We share more than 25 years of memories enjoying the outdoors together. Special thanks to Billy Anderson and Ruth Worley, both kindergarten teachers extraordinary for their expertise and enthusiasm. LG, for my stellar brother, Richard Swan, his wonderful wife, Shirley, and their magical daughter, Catherine. SS, it's fall. I skip and swish through autumn leaves. They crunch and crackle under my feet and whoosh and whirl all around me. Red, orange, yellow, gold, and brown. A wind swoops up. More leaves fall down. It's fall. I help rake a big, big pile of leaves. Whee! I jump in and sink deep, deep, deep. I hide inside. It smells sharp and sweet. Leaves prickle and tickle all over me. I wait and wait, then pop, it's me. We hear the wild honking of migrating geese as they fly away up overhead in bees. A hawk soars up in a sweeping glide and there go some monarch butterflies. They're all heading south where it's warm because colder days are coming soon. It's fall. Animals are hiding all around me. They're getting ready to hibernate in deep, deep sleep. Ladybugs hide in pine cones and under bark and leaves. Earthworms tunnel way down where the earth doesn't freeze. Frogs burrow in lake bottoms under the mud. A raccoon finds a safe spot in a hollow log. A chipmunk stores piles of seeds underground. Soon they'll all sleep for a long, long time. Gray squirrels scamper around finding acorns and nuts. They'll be awake all winter, so they have to fatten up. It's fall. The air is turning crisp and cold. It's time to wear our warmer clothes. We put on jackets and pants and long sleeves to keep us warm when it turns breezy. The sun goes down so early now. We wait and watch the sky grow dark. We see the great big harvest moon rise up and up and up. Wherever we go, we find flowers and weeds, drying out and scattered seeds. We float silky parachutes of dry milkweed. Birds land on our dry sunflowers and eat the seeds. Tall, dry, cattails whisper and rattle. Crisp leaves swish and rustle and chatter. It's fall. We collect acorns and pine cones and pretty leaves. I choose a great big pumpkin. We carve a face and roast the seeds. One day in our garden, we dig some holes. We plant crocus and tulips and daffodil bulbs. I try to picture how they'll look a long time from now when they finally come up. Then one day I notice that the trees are all bare. Leaves have fallen everywhere. There's an icy chill in the air. Soon, very soon, Winter will be here, but right now, it's still fall. I gather handfuls of autumn leaves. I toss them up. They swirl down on me. It's fall. It's fall. I love it all. It's fall. Nature activities to do in the fall. So here's some fun ideas in case you're looking for something to do. Some of these, it's a little bit too late to do them now because that part of fall is already past. You could go to an apple orchard and pick apples. Visit a pumpkin patch and choose a pumpkin. Some of you probably did that. Collect autumn leaves. Place them in an old phone book or some heavy books on top and press the dry leaves. Make leaf rubbings. You put a leaf under a piece of paper. Use the side of a crayon and rub over the leaf. And notice the different shapes and bang patterns that form on the paper. You can collect dry flower seeds and pods from the garden in the to plant in the spring. If you collect wildflower seeds, only take ones that are plentiful. 
Lay seeds out to dry and store them in a cool, dry place until spring planting time. And then there are a lot of other ideas on both pages that follow of things to do in early fall, planting things and getting ready for the earth, sleeping and preparing for winter and then spring when it will warm up again and all the flowers come back to join us. I hope that you enjoyed this story about fall. You have a great day. I love you. Good night.